3 minutes eh Mai hmm. Okay you can start now Assalamualaikum and greetings to doctor and my fellow friends The title of my project is Anthropometric Body Composition Sarcopenia Parameters and Exercise Capacity in Older Peoples uh, with and without sarcopenia Sarcopenia is the generalized a loss of muscle mass, muscle strength, physical and physical performance uh, that occur with aging. Other than muscular functioning declines, the cardiorespiratory system is also vulnerable to change with advancing age. However, it is not known whether it is associated with uh, sarcopenia. This cross-sectional study aims to compare a tropometric uh, body composition EWGS EWG SOP2 sarcopenia parameters and exercise capacity between community dwelling elderly with and without sarcopenia and to determine the relationship between exercise capacity and sarcopenia parameters. This study requested about 201 participants consists of 97 males and 104 females elderly. The SACEF questionnaire was used to categorize participants into two groups which is which are sarco possible sarcopenia and no sarcopenia. The data was analyzed using SPSS at the significant level uh, of uh, significant level B less than 0 0.05. The independent t-test was used to determine the mean difference of variables and the partial correlation coefficient was to uh, was used to evaluate the association between exercise capacity uh, and sarcopenia parameters by controlling the, controlling the gender effect. The finding of objective one uh, is possible sarcopenia was significantly higher uh, in waist circumference, BMI and body percentage while significantly lower in muscle mass, muscle strength, balance and exercise capacity. Uh, according to Hayashi et al, uh, urging is associated with changes in body composition including an increase in body fat, decline in muscle mass, muscle strength and reduce in aerobic capacity. Uh, elderly who have the lowest muscle mass and muscle strength are more likely to have uh, mobility impairment and will increase the risk of falls, disability and reduce in exercise capacity. The finding of second objective uh, revealed in uh, no sarcopenia group, the exercise capacity was significantly associated with all sarcopenia parameters except uh, muscle mass. While in possible sarcopenia group, the exercise capacity was significantly associated with only lower limb muscle strength. The five times sit to stand was not only used to measure muscle strength, but also to use uh, to measure uh, exercise capacity. Hence, this may explain the association between exercise capacity and lower limb strength. A uh, study by Jones et al. found that there was a significant uh, correlation between five times sit to stand and exercise capacity in older, pers uh, older people uh, with COPD. Elderly that failed to complete the uh, five times sit to stand was found to have significant impairment in exercise capacity and reduced in cordyceps muscle strength. In conclusion, uh, elderly with uh, possible sarcopenia show significant higher waist circumference, BMI, body fat percentage, and significant lower in muscle mass, muscle strength, balance, and exercise capacity. Uh, next, uh, exercise capacity in the elderly without sarcopenia were associated with all uh, sarcopenia parameters except muscle mass, uh, while uh, exercise capacity in the elderly with possible sarcopenia was significantly associated with only lower limb strength. Last but not least, uh, implication of this study, physiotherapy play a major role in sarcopenia. Physiotherapies should uh, include exercise um, to, to improve cardiorespiratory and muscular fitness, uh, such as aerobic uh, exercise. You at all recommended uh, elderly to engage in at least uh, 150 minutes uh, of aerobic physical activity of moderate intensity throughout the week. Thank you for your attention. Oh, <laughs>